Hi guys, this is Max from 3dprinterschool.com. Today we're gonna go ahead and install the linear rails. My Formbot kit came with Vivadino. It should be okay if you just install it without greasing it, but if you wanna get it nicely greased, go ahead and use some alcohol. I got some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just gonna wipe it down. All right, because these things come greased out of the factory. All right, degrease it a little bit. And movement is pretty good here. You can use the pins to lube it, or you can just lube a little bit where the ball bearings are. I'm just gonna do it like this. And put some on the rails. Just give it nice. Go like a couple times. Okay, that should be good. <clears throat> oh. That should be coming down nicely. Not bad, so we're ready to go. Lubed. For this next step, you're gonna need M3 T-nuts and M3 8 nuts. We're gonna place them here and also back there. So in order to do this easier, we're gonna lay it on the side. Lay it on the side and I'm gonna go ahead and flip it. Let's flip it this way so you can see better. So this is gonna be the back, all right? And we're gonna make sure there's three millimeter clearance from here. And we're gonna go ahead and place uh, every other one. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten T nuts, M3 T nuts. And then, and then we're gonna use M3 by eight. To align the rails, you'll need to print out the Voron uh, alignment guides. I print out a bunch of them out. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and use this. And I'm gonna just try to place them around where I wanna put these in. So I'm gonna do one there, one here. Every other one. All right, make sure they're aligned to the hole. Okay, next we're gonna go ahead and put this on top of it. And we can go ahead and move it later. Make sure holes are aligned. You can just go ahead and insert this, this, and they seem pretty aligned. And you're gonna go ahead and use the alignment tool to align it. I like to put a bunch of them. Okay. Make sure all the holes are aligned. And you're gonna go ahead and insert all the... Don't go all the way so you can move it, move it a little bit. <clears throat> Take these off for a second. I'm gonna try to move them a little bit more down. If you grab a three millimeter Allen wrench, uh, if on the corners it's gonna be 2.88. If you do diagonally, it's gonna be a little bit more than three. Um, that's where your cover, uh, belt covers are gonna go. So I'll just use this and diagonally, just give it like maybe a little bit more than three so it'll fit. And that's good enough. And I'll just go ahead and make sure you use the guy to align You can just use two, but I just use a bunch because I have a bunch of them here. <laughs> okay, double check it's three millimeters. Okay, that's fine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and screw in every other one.
Okay, I'm gonna manually tighten down uh, using uh, manually. So I'm gonna tighten this down. That should be good to go. Leave these uh, marks so you don't lose ball bearings. I've had one time where I lost my ball bearings, but that's looking really good. Let's gonna flip around, um, do the other side here. Um, so do all the four sides and you should be good to go.